What's up you guys, it's Brian with Connor Productions and uh, today I just wanted to run a quick test with the M1 Max, which is right here, and the M1 13 inch, which is right here. This has 32 gigs of, of uh, unified memory. This has eight gigs of unified memory, eight core GPU, 32 core G GPU. So we're gonna run it through a few tests. One of them just being looking through uh, Blackmagic 6K raw footage, three to one compression. So some pretty heavy duty files. And then we're gonna also throw some noise reduction on them as well to kind of see how it plays in a 4K timeline. All right, let's get into it. All right, so right here I have the M1 with the eight cores and the eight gigabytes of uh, unified memory. And this is my dog right here. And we're just gonna try and play this clip raw right here. And as you can see, it's stuttering a little bit. And then it finally kind of gets its wheels going and it plays just fine. Um, I think it's gonna do that with all of them probably. Yeah, stuttering, and then starts rolling. So same thing there, uh, another just random shot, stutters and then starts rolling. Yeah, so that seems to be the case with the uh, M1. Um, but if we hop over to the M1 Max right here, you see these same shots with my dog, um, 4K timeline, but 6K clip. And when I press play, it's just fluidly playing from the start, like it's, nothing nothing holding it back same thing here with these pumpkins fluidly playing from the start um books same thing fluidly playing from the start so already i see an immediate difference here in just playing back where it's way quicker it doesn't stutter like the m1 does um which is to be expected obviously it's a way more powerful computer all right, so next we're just gonna take the clips, throw them in the timeline, and see how they play back in the 4K timeline. All right, so right here we have the M1 um, with the 6K B-RAW footage, 3 one compression. Let's see how it plays in a 4K timeline. All right, so laggy to start, but it kind of looks like the same thing. You know, it finally gets a hold of it and starts playing pretty fluidly. Okay, yeah, so it eventually got going and played pretty fluidly. So now we're here on the M1 Max, and we're gonna see how the 6K B-Raw plays in this 4K timeline. So yeah, no stuttering, no lagging. Yeah, no nothing. Just plays perfectly fine. As to be expected. All right, so yeah, no, another good difference there that's definitely gonna speed up a workflow. All right, so now for the last thing, uh, we're gonna throw some color correction on it and some noise reduction and see how it plays in the timeline. Obviously, it's gonna slow it down on the M1, but let's see if there's any stutters with the M1 Max. All right, so I just threw a LUT on these and added a good amount of noise reduction. So let's see how the M1 does. All right, we're getting a whopping four frames per second here. And it's way behind. Yeah, can't handle it. Um, and this is on a full resolution timeline, no proxies or anything like that. All right, here we are in the M1 Max. Let's see how this one plays. Wow fluidly playing through. I think there was a tiny, tiny stutter at the beginning when I pressed the space bar, but it's just fluidly playing through this entire thing at 24 frames per second. Yeah, that's impressive. Well, there you have it. There's obviously a clear winner, as there really should be. These things aren't even close in price or performance, but the M1 Max is really impressive. It's really gonna speed up my workflow, and this is the test that I really wanted to see for myself. So I hope y'all, uh, it was of some benefit to you guys. And if there's anything else y'all wanna see specifically, um, I'll have the M1 for a little bit longer. I am trading it in, but just let me know in the comments and uh, maybe I can put together a video for y'all. All right, thanks for watching.